we are back with another video welcome or welcome back in today's video in my channel which is your channel we're gonna be creating this eye look using the wrong way eye palette from Burberry Touch if you're ready to see what do I think about this palette and how I created this eye look keep on watching Mwah. I'm excited for today's video not only because I have this baby on deck this palette it is not available here in the United States yet but it's coming out so soon within the next few days maybe today maybe tomorrow it is already showing up in the Burberry's website so you can go ahead and check it out one of the reasons why I'm excited for today's video because I do get happy when I get the opportunity to come here and review something for you guys that hasn't come out yet like that you kind of get a feeling of it you see how it looks on me you have an idea how it's gonna look on you you see swatches and all that jazz before you spend your money we are about to see if you're gonna like this palette or not. But the second reason why I'm excited for today's video is because I am not doing this video by myself. I'm doing this video in collaboration with my beautiful friend, hey, it's Jacqueline. Yes, yeah, so we're doing this video together. She's gonna be creating a look. I'm dying to see what look she's gonna create. Go ahead and show her some love. Let her know I sent you. And we have to go see what Jacqueline thinks about this palette, right? Or her info, it's going to be in my description box down below don't forget right after you're done with this video let's go check out hey it's Jacqueline's video this new collection from Burberry includes a few items some glosses some lipsticks and the palette the lipsticks and the glosses they are already available in their website they've been there but I really didn't pick them up the only thing that catched my eyes was this palette and I really wanted to try the formula I don't have an eyeshadow palette from Burberry so as soon as I saw it, I knew that I needed this baby in my life and that of course I needed to review it for you guys. Here you have the Runway Eye Palette from Burberry. Can you appreciate this packaging because this is so stunning and looks serious. I love Burberry's print on clothes, on shoes, on makeup. I think it's just so elegant all the way around. It is the same packaging as the face palette same size and everything with the difference that this one is a face palette and this one is an eyeshadow palette we're getting beautiful stunning shades for the eyes and in here we're getting bronzer blush and highlighter but this packaging it is palette it is $70 and I know it's pricey but we're about to talk about that in a minute what Burberry did with the spring palette is they captured the house colors and the distinctive finish and they put all that into this limited edition palette and I agree because this palette and all these shades they're so Burberry if you go into a Burberry store this is all you see in their clothes, in their shoes, all you're gonna see is really neutral colors that they do stand out. Beiges, yellow, gold, white, and that's exactly what we're getting in this palette and I think it's so dope guys. This palette holds nine highly pigmented shades in mattes, shimmers, and metallic finish. These shades are coated with an advanced powder technology. The pigment of these three formulas, they combine contrasting ultrasensorial for maximum color pale. The soft matte finish, which we're only getting two in the spotlight, this one and this one, they're gonna offer you a velvety finish. The silky ones, they're gonna create a silky base. Then the metallic shades, they're supposed to melt from powder to fluid on your skin. It's formulated with a paraben, D5 oil or mineral oil. That's why these shades, they are so creamy to the touch. I'm not sure if I mentioned it before, but of course, this, it is 100% made in Italy. This sounds really promising, guys, right? All those ingredients, all that, it's going to melt from powder to fluid on your skin, and it feels really velvety and really silky. Now, we're gonna be doing some swatches, and then after that, I'm going to be showing you how I created this look. Swatching one by one with you guys look at that guys can you see that 
Wow. Okay. Wow, look at that, guys. That is completely freaking stunning. Look at that. Oh my god. And they just blend so beautiful. I'm gonna be swatching this mat right here. This matte, it is really my skin complexion. You see it, but it's very, very light. And I'm doing some big ass swatches. I don't know why I'm always overdoing it. And look at those two shades. Guys, this is beautiful. Look at that. So pretty. Oh my God. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Wow. That is stunning. And the way they blend and the way they feel. I'm loving it. And I'm going to be zooming you in so you can see this one's from up close. But these swatches, they are fire, guys. Look at that. This one is the other matte. That is a super pretty color. And this is the gold. It definitely feels that velvety touch look at that guys please oh, this is so metallic you see all three formulas right there this one is a metallic the matte and then we have right here the shimmery this one it's metallic this brown it is shimmery guys they're so pretty let me zoom you in so you can see it from up close So now I'm going to be showing you how I created this eye look and then keep on watching so I can give you my final thoughts really quick on this palette. I really like this mirror because it goes all the way back and for blinding people like me, it comes handy, you know, you can just put it all up in your face. With my BK Beauty 201, I'm going to go in this matte beigey, it's like a nude color and starting in my outer V, I'm going to place it in my whole crease as a transition color. So nice. It is smooth in my eye. You see? I'm actually gonna grab a little bit more and I'm gonna place it on my whole lid, kind of like a base. Yes, because it does smooth in my eyes. I like that. All the way into my bravo. You can't really see this a shade right here on my skin complexion. It's really like my color. But as a base on your lid, dope guys. Because it does blur whatever line, whatever creasing you have going on in your lids. So it's going to help you out with that. Now with my blending brush, this is the classic crease from Sonia G. I'm going to go into this shade right here. This is also a matte. And it's beigey, but it's deeper and darker than this one right here. I'm gonna be placing this shade starting from outer V on my crease, but I'm not gonna bring it so high up. Shade right here, there's the side of my nose, so I can keep my eyes on the finishing. Perfect. See? You see that shade a little bit more, to be honest with you. So, so pretty. I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit more of this one. And without blending, I'm gonna build it up first on my crease. crease. Perfect. Now you see it. I'm gonna go back with my BK Beauty 201 and I'm gonna start blending these edges. Alright, so now we have the pretty shade on my crease. And now I'm gonna be working with my packing brush. First, I'm gonna show you how all these shades look dry. And then, of course, you know me, we need to wet our brush because we need to get that boom, boom, boom out of the shades. So that's the way. That's the way. Now we're gonna go into this shade right here. This one is shimmery. To be honest with you, it is very similar to this one down here with the difference that this one is matte and this one is a shimmer. With my packing brush, I'm gonna be placing this right here on my tear duct and on my inner corner. Guys, they have a lot of pigmentation. They're really intense. I am so happy with the way these shades are performing. 
Look at that. That is dry. Can you believe that that's dry? Can you picture them wet? So now <laughs> we have these two shades right here. This one, it's more pinky, I will say. And this one, it is more on the reddish side. So first, with the same packing brush, I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit of this one down here. And I'm gonna place it right here on the inner third of my eyelid. Like the same shade that you get in here on the palette is the same shade that you get on your eyelid. Look. Stunning. Now I'm going to be flipping my brush and I'm going to go into this one right here on the middle. And I'm going to place the shade right on the middle of my lid. Here. You perfectly see the two shades right there. Look. The pinky and the red. Mmm. I love it. Back with my blending brush, I'm gonna go in this shade right here. This is like a burgundy shimmery shade. And I'm gonna be placing this right here on my outer V. I'm gonna pack a punch and I'm gonna leave it right here. Very soft, I'm gonna be blending the edges in, making a transition color between this one and the reddish shade that I have on the center of my lid. My lid back with my BK Beauty brush, very soft. I am blending these edges one shade with the other one, but I'm trying not to move them around. I want the shades to stay in their place, so I'm being very, very light hand when I'm blending this. Perfect. So I'm not done yet, but I wanted to show you something. In this eye, I use the shadows wet. And for this eye, I haven't wet them yet. This is how they look dry. So the proof is in the pudding. Look how similar they look. You wouldn't even know that I wet them here and right here they're dry. So these shadows, they need no help. They're gonna give you full pigmentation on the first pass. And look at that, you don't need to wet them. They are booming, guys. With my inner corner brush from Sigma, I'm gonna go into this stunning gold for my inner corner. And I'm gonna drag it down a little bit into the inner part of my lower lash. With the same flat defender from Sonia G, I'm gonna flip the brush and I'm gonna go into this shade right here for the outer part of my lower lash. I'm gonna go back with my inner corner brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this golden and I'm gonna place it very careful right here. Like if I was making a wing. Just so you see like the gold right there when you move your face, you see it? Morphe M431, I'm gonna be grabbing a little bit of this shimmery champagne shade for my brow bone. And I'm gonna stamp very little right here. I wish the shade was a little lighter, but it's okay. Hopefully you like the look, give me a thumbs up if you do. And now it's time for my raw opinion, no VS, about this palette right here. I guys, I really like it. And, and you know what, I hate when I really, really, really like something and it's so expensive because I feel bad telling you guys, like, you gotta hurry up and go get it. It's annoying. But guys, it is stunning. It's so worth it. If you like and enjoy neutral shades, you are gonna fall in love with this yes, palette. Because of the oils and the ingredient that this palette was formulated with, it is extremely creamy, guys. Like, so silky. The formula, it's so thin. You have no clue to the touch on the eye, on the swatches, everything. It is so beautiful about this palette. And it's literally an experience and I, and I'm telling you right now, it is worth it. I know we have a bunch of neutral palettes, but these metallics are on 
point guys on fire like literally bomb.com this is perfect for mature eyelids if you like those kind of like booming on everybody's face really reflecting eye looks but you don't like glitter this is where it's at because of the shimmers and the metallics in this palette they are so reflecting that literally when one pass you're gonna get that highly pigmented shade and they're just beautiful guys like everything it's beautiful about this palette yeah. totally agree with the claims of this palette the mattes in here they're so velvety look at that i love it i love it like the formula in this palette really 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 blew my mind already that when we saw this red right here we thought about this baby from pomograph the brown seduction and i'm gonna be swatching this shade right here next to this one so we can compare them and here see. it is the one from pomograph and this one it is the one from this palette as we can see this one right here from pomograph it's more reddish this one it's more like terracotta more orangey it's more brownish this one right here looks more of a true red compared to the one from the Burberry Polly when I saw that shade it also reminded me of this new palette that came out not so long ago from by Terry because of this shade right here but this one looks a little bit more darker than the one from Burberry but just for the sake of the video, why not? Let's just swatch it. But I'm not even gonna go there because I can't even compare the formula from this to this. This is so chalky and not creamy at all and I just don't like the formula, but whatever. So that's the one from the By Terry Potlet. This is Pomograph and this one right here, it is the one from the Burberry Potlet. This two, they're more similar, but this one, no guys. This is more like calm down, but at the same time, it is like out there. The one from By Terry and the one from Pomograph, they do look similar, but those two, they don't look like this one from the By Terry Potlet. Follow me on Instagram, Steffi Glam, because I am going to be doing my homework and I'm going to be on the lookout for lunch day. I don't want you to miss out on this palette if you want it. And trust me that I know this palette is going to go in second. It's going to sell out extremely fast. It's a beautiful palette, guys. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. And I am so happy to have it. And I want you guys to also have it. Don't forget to go check out Hey, is Jacqueline's video. Her info is going to be in my description box. I'm dying to see what looks she created and what does she think about this palette. Mwah. Thank you guys for another great video. I love you all so damn much. And if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and you love everything makeup, you are on the right place. Go down below, click the little red button, and make sure your notification bell is on so YouTube can notify you every time I upload new videos. Mwah. See you on the next one.